Hi there. This trap is a bit of a rarity. It's called One for White and it's in the martial counter gambit of the Spanish. We'll more or less follow the course of the game's corners off against Hebden 2008, So against Magaranto in 2010 and Makachian against Chibukchian in 2011. E4, E5, Knight F3, Knight C6, the Spanish Bishop B5. A6 sends the bishop back to A4, Knight F6 to which white castles. Black can go for the open variation, but in the martial counter gambit, black first goes for the closed variation with bishop E7. Now rook E1 defends the pawn. B5 sends the bishop back to B3. And after black castles, white plays C3. Preparing d4, but black strikes at the center first with d5, the martial counter gambit, giving up a pawn. After e takes d5, knight takes on d5, white now picks up the e pawn. Black will trade knights, knight takes e5, rook takes on e5. And what is now considered the best move in the martial, c6. d4 securing the center, the most natural response by white. And now bishop d6. Realigning the bishop to a more aggressive diagonal will send the, the rook back to e1. Queen h4, very direct, threatening h2. And that's defended by g3, which opens up some holes in white's defense. So the queen under fire makes use of uh, h3. Now, queen e2, popular move by white, where the queen can... Uh, Aim to get to f1 for defensive duties and challenge the black queen on h3. So bishop g4, developing hitting the queen, which does go back to f1. Black wants to refrain from exchanges, so queen back to h5. Knight d2 can be met by this common idea in uh, the martial knight f4, this uh, peace sacrificial line that knight is ominously dangerous and it can be taken g takes on f4 with uh, mutual chances if now bishop takes on f4 hitting the pawn on h2 with a, a mate threat rather than queen to g2 what is perhaps slightly better is h4 you have to be well up well versed in theory probably to come up with this one and uh, in this position black can go wrong if queen takes on h4, black's best response, then white can just about hold with queen g2. Because if bishop h3, then white can play knight f3, which uh, hits the black queen. And white is more or less holding this position. Going back, if instead of queen takes on h4, Black tries rook a e8 first, then white can get some advantage with knight to e4. In fact, white is actually close to winning. Now, uh, holding the position, challenging the bishop on f4. If the bishop retreats back to, to b8, then queen g2 sets a little trap. Because if now bishop to f3, then knight to f6 is check, queen, rook, with the pawn on g7 pins and this one is winning for white so this trap in the martial counter gambit is called one for white thanks for watching bye bye